and welcome to another Minute Microscopy. I'm Eric Rosenblatt, and I'd be super juiced if you'd like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. So today, I'd like to talk about one of my favorite subjects, one that seems to be in the news of late, what with this current hurricane activity going on, and that would be preparedness. I think this is an extremely important subject, seeing as how most people never think about what to do in an emergency, let alone have any supplies or a plan. We only seem to talk about it when an incident is occurring. And, and even then, people don't seem to do anything to prepare. It's probably due to disasters being so infrequent and often happening somewhere else. It could never happen here, right? It's attitudes like that which will get you killed. Perhaps some people assume all these ultra-expensive government organizations are going to swoop in and come to your aid. Well, time and time again, this is proven false with each event that occurs. As they say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. So you need to be your own first line of defense. You need to take care of yourself, your family, your friends, and neighbors. That's not to say you need to go overboard and build an elaborate apocalypse bunker stocked with everything you need to survive off-grid for two years. But you should at least have basic supplies. Oh yeah, and above all, have a plan. Being prepared doesn't need to cost much money. However, I would recommend against buying one of those ready-made kits. They're usually useless. It's far better to put together your own. Now, every location and situation is going to be different. So you should plan around your unique circumstances and needs. At the minimum, let's see, you should have the means to create a shelter, uh, some water, and a way to filter and collect more, some food, multiple means of starting a fire, lighting, uh, a radio receiver and transceiver, along with enough batteries or charging capability to charge them, uh, medical supplies, as well as any special medications you might require, a basic set of tools, a non-GPS method of navigation, although a standalone GPS would probably be fine unless we're talking a huge solar flare or EMP or something like that. I'd also add in backpacks and bags, cooking supplies, and a bicycle, or, or even just like a Razor scooter. And last but not least, some kind of self-defense tool. People go crazy during a disaster and you're unlikely to get any help from the police. <laughs> so you can start small, but it's recommended to assume you'll be without help for two weeks. Um, consider what you would need if you had to shelter in place or bug out for that amount of time with no other assistance and then build up from there. Having a plan is perhaps the most important preparedness item, along with practice. Involve your friends, family, and neighbors so that when the unthinkable does happen, you already know what to do and who you can count on. And remember, others will be counting on you too. Build your knowledge and skills because those will be your best piece of kit during an emergency. So preparing may to some seem like an act of paranoia, but it's no different than carrying a gas can, a jack, and a spare tire in your car. And, well, it'll sure come in handy, even in small events like a power outage, and especially during something huge. And don't allow yourself to be deluded into the belief that it will never happen. The odds are typically small, but present. And the implications of not being prepared, well, it just might cost you your life. 